Hi everyone. So in my last video, I discuss about uh, how to find uh, or the purpose of finding an MSC of a particular uh, estimator. So in this video, I'm going to show an example of uh, how to find an MSC uh, for a particular problem. So my question is as follows. So let's say I have n random variables uh, where these random variables are independently and identically distributed with uh, mean, uh, sorry, uh, with uh, uniform distributed with uh, within this range from 0 to theta. So now I am going to find the MSC of the maximum likelihood estimator of theta square. So in this example, first I am going to find the maximum likelihood estimator of theta has square or theta square. So if you recall the maximum likelihood estimation, uh, to find the maximum likelihood estimator, first you need to find the likelihood function. So the likelihood function of this uh, particular distribution is as follows. Uh, since uh, these random variables are independently and identically distributed, uh, we can find um, the likelihood function as a product of the probability density functions. So in this case, the probability density function is 1 over theta times indicator function that indicates xi is less than theta. So if you calculate the product of these probability density functions, this will be equal to 1 over theta to the power n times uh, the product of these indicator functions. Uh, this indica this uh, product of these indicator functions, you can simplify it like this, uh, which is in a uh, 1 over theta to the power n times the indicator function of uh, the largest order statistic less than theta, where this largest order statistic is denoted by uh, x sub n like this. So if you draw this likelihood function, it will be like this. You can see based on this likelihood function, it's a decreasing function because when theta increases, this likelihood function decreases. So you can see that de uh, decreasing property based on this graph. You can see that when theta increases, this likelihood function decreases like this. And the maximum of this likelihood function can be obtained when theta is equal to the largest order statistic. So, so in this question, the largest order statistic will be our maximum likelihood estimator of the theta hat. But our question is to find the maximum likelihood estimator of the theta hat squared or the theta squared. So to find the, uh, the maximum likelihood estimator of theta squared, I am going to use this invariance property of MLE. So based on the invariance property of MLE, it says that if the MLE of the theta is equal to theta hat, then the MLE of any function of theta, let's say it is a tau theta, is equal to tau theta hat. So based on this uh, invariance property of MLE, uh, the maximum likelihood estimator of the theta hat squ uh, theta squared, which is equal to theta hat squared of uh, MLE, is equal to uh, the square value of the largest order statistic. So let's uh, move to find the MSC of this estimator. So based on my previous video, if you recall my video, uh, you will see that uh, uh, the MSC of this estimator is equal to the variance of that estimator uh, plus the squared bias of uh, this estimator. So I'm going to find the MSC uh, by finding these two parts separately. So before doing that, I'm going to find uh, the probability density function of the largest order statistic because that will be the easiest approach to find this MSC. So the probability density function of uh, the largest order statistic I am going to find based on the cumulative density function of the largest order statistic. So the cumulative density function of the largest order statistic uh, we can write it as the probability of the largest order statistic is less than t, which is equal to uh, the uh, probability of uh, x less than t 
to the power n you can write it like this because these random variables are independently and identically distributed and uh, since uh, this xn is the largest order statistic you can write uh, the cumulative density function of the largest order statistic like this so now we need to find this probability where this probability of x is less than t we can find this probability based on the probability density function of the um, random variable x uh, which is 1 over theta so when you find this probability using this integral uh, integration from 0 to t of 1 over theta with respect to x which will be equal to theta uh, sorry t divided by theta so based on this quantity now we can find uh, the cdf of the largest order statistic uh, the cdf uh, will be equal to uh, the cdf will be equal to uh, t divided by theta to the power n because uh, based on this formula the prob uh, the cdf of the large source statistic is equal to uh, t divided by theta to the power n so if you know the cdf of a particular random variable then you can find uh, the probability density function of that random variable by simply taking the first derivative of that uh, CDF. So now I am going to find the probability density function of uh, the largest order statistic based on that approach. So uh, the PDF of the largest order statistic is equal to the first derivative of uh, t divided by theta to the power n. So if we apply the chain rule to this, uh, this derivative will be equal to n times t divided by theta to the power n minus 1 times 1 over theta. So, if you simplify this, this will be equal to n divided by theta to the power n uh, times t to the power n minus 1. So, based on this uh, probability density function, now I am going to uh, find the bias and the variance components of this um, of this estimator. So first I am going to find the bias of this estimator. So if you recall the bias is equal to uh, the expectation of that estimator minus the unknown parameter. So here our unknown parameter is theta squared because our estimators are based on theta squared. So in order to find the bias I need to find this uh, second moment of the largest order statistic. So I can easily find this second moment because I uh, found uh, the PDF of the largest order statistic. So using the properties of expectation, now, I've, now I can find the largest order statistic of this estimator, which is, uh, sorry, uh, the second moment of this uh, largest order statistic, which is equal to integration of a zero to theta t squared times the probability density function with respect to t. So you can see that uh, n and theta is independent of uh, t. So you can factor those things. And now integration is n divided by theta to the power n times integration of 0 to uh, theta t to the power n plus 1 with respect to t. So using the power rule of the integration this will be equal to n divided by theta to the power n times t to the power n plus 2 divided by n plus 2 and if you apply these bounds of this integration uh, this, in, uh, this integral will be equal to n divided by n plus 2 uh, times theta square. So by using this value of the uh, second moment of the largest order statistic now I can find the bias term which is equal to n times theta squared divided by n plus 2 uh, minus theta squared. So based on this, if you simplify this further uh, by taking the common denominator like this, uh, now this bias term will be equal to negative 2 times theta squared divided by n plus 2. So 
So I found the bias term of this MSC. Now I'm going to find the variance component of this uh, estimator. So the variance, I'm going to uh, use this uh, formula based on this expectation values. So if you recall the variance of theta hat, that will be equal to expectation of theta hat squared minus expectation of theta hat whole thing squared. So if I apply that formula to find the variance of theta hat squared of MLE, that will be equal to the fourth moment of the uh, largest order statistic minus the second moment of the largest order statistic raised to the power 2. So I'm going to find the variance first finding uh, the fourth moment of this estimator. The fourth moment is equal to integration of 0 to theta times a t to the power 4 um, times uh, n divided by theta to the power n uh, times uh, t to the power n minus 1 divided by uh, with respect to t.